Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel and everything. Um, hopefully everyone had a good day today. Well, as you see, unboxing on the new riser. So, which kind? Of, what kind of riser did I get? Did I get a Spigarelli? Did I get a Gelo? A Hoyt? Win and win. Hmm. What did I get? Or did I go to? One that uh, basically hardly anybody is is shooting. So which one did I get? Which one do you guys think I got? Okay. So here we go. And this is a Barebo riser. It's not a re. Uh, it is an ILF riser, but it's strictly Barebo. Well, it is a Barebo riser, but you know, you know what I mean by it. So. What do you think I got? I went a different route on because you know a lot of people's got the Gelo, the Spigarelli ones, but I went a different route. So, Don, what one did I get? Actually, here's my riser. There you go. Ooh, look at that color. Beautiful color, right? And internal weight system. You can see it. There you go. Uh, this riser right here is actually a Xbox. Riser, so Xbot D cut. It's um, that's which riser it is actually. It's a strictly barebo riser, as you can see. It is a all aluminum. It is a forged aluminum riser. Um, I love the color. Beautiful color. I did not think the color was going to come out this way, and everything. It doesn't look like it's painted on. Which, you know, is a good thing. It's uh, beautiful, honestly. You, you can see it right here. I know the light's not that good here. But as you can see, it is. Um, it is uh, machined and everything. Um, it has, has a little bit of uh, one or two little scratches on it. But... Um, the thing about it is that you can really see is when it was in the machine being milled. Um, as you can see uh, right there, you can see it right there, it picks it up where it started milling it out, the riser out. Um, you can see most of the places you can really see it at is you can really see it on that one right there. So you can see the grooves on it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's everywhere it's got cut out at, here, 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 you can see it, and then inside of it, you know, you can pick it up or not, inside of it, you can see where it's been milled out to, but uh, they don't bother me a bit, uh, beautiful color, really, really beautiful color. Uh, this is a 25 inch riser from them and everything it is a strictly bare bow riser and by itself it weighs four pounds yeah it's it's heavy it's a uh, it's heavy as can be but it's really nice really nice finish and everything um, as you can see it doesn't have like the cheaper um, like D cut slides in it where it's just like one rod that comes through and then slides it that way this one actually you have the plates and not I'm pretty sure that's the bolts for it to take it out and of course you know you have your tiller bolt and then you have the lock in the back of it too and you have of course both sides for limb adjustment and everything 
Um, other than that, it's really, really nice. Of course, you got your two holes, plunger holes and everything. And you have a cutout for your clicker. That's if you want to run a clicker. And you have your two holes or two screw marks here for your clicker. And it also has marks for your sight. So you can actually use this for Olympic style also. But I don't know, four pounds. I don't know about that. So that's a little crazy. Um, other than that, it's really, really nice. Beautiful riser. I think so. I love it. Um, the price is $300. So it is actually a little bit more money than the Gilo. But it weighs over a pound more than the Gilo, too. The, G, the G2. I think the G2 weigh, it costs $260 some dollars. This is $299. So it is more money. But you also get weights with it, too. To put in there. I know the Gilo, you have to, I'm pretty sure you have to buy the weights for it. You can buy that piece that goes here, and that's what 60 some dollars there. So, you know, if you think about it that way, and you're going to add weight anyways, by the time you add that weight, then you equal out to be how much this weighs. So, that's one reason why I went ahead and got this. Plus, a lot of people don't even use this, or I haven't seen anyone shoot this. And the reviews for it, there's no reviews. There's two reviews, I believe. There's no YouTube videos, no nothing on it. So I went ahead and got it. Uh, the grip is a plastic grip and everything on there. Uh, screw or bolts on both sides. Um, I really like it, how it fits in the hand and everything. It goes right into my lifeline. So it feels good like that. Um, as you can see, there's the balance of it. So it feels really good. I mean, it is heavy and on the bottom end of it, but it balances out pretty good, as you can see. And just here to here, I mean, that's how I hold it, like that. Um, the only thing I did see is the the way I hold my bow um, right here is going to be a problem. Right here is going to be a problem where I hold it like that. Um, I'm going to have to probably sand that down some. If not, I'm going to really get my fingers and everything. So that's it, really. Other than that, the grip feels good. I like the grip on it. It's nice and skinny, as you can see. It's not a real fat, wide grip like I have on my Hoyt. So I do like the little skinny one here better. Um, what comes in the box is you get a D-cut arrow rest, which I won't be using because I'll be using my Spigarelli one. But um, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually. Oh, I dropped something. extra little tube and it comes with a little magnetic rest um, which these are really nice if you do shoot Olympic recurve but um, if you do use these what I tend to do is bend up because since it's straight just take it take the tube off of it bend this up some where it'll help keep your arrow on the rest against the plunger. That's what I would do with it. Um, you don't have no up and down adjustments on it. And everything. Um, it is magnetic, as you see. So you get that. Uh, what else do you get? You get a, the clicker plate, which is metal, too. Uh, you get three Allen wrenches, and you get the um, little screw, screw bolt to hold in the, um, what you call it, to hold in the uh, clicker plate. So let me put this back up, and then I'll show you the weights that you actually get too. Alright, let me put this up. 
All right, the weight system that you get is looks like the ones from like cartel because I mean I got cartel riser or cartel ones. Um, you get three weights. Let me get them all out for you. Um, on the website and everything, it doesn't even say mention that you get weights. I had to like research on the internet and found one that said that someone said something about it does come with weights, three weights. Um, this one, I weighed it. Let me tell you how much it weighs. Because it, um, you don't get no book, no nothing with it, with the riser. Okay, you know, it's anything. Um, I got 1.77 ounces, and then these two are the same. And we have 3.54 ounces. So that's how much these weigh. All right, so you got 1.7, and what was it, 3.54? Yeah, 3.54. Okay. So the only thing you do is once you shoot it and you figure out how you want the weight system to run, if you want it heavy or whatnot, you actually see, da da. Um, put it in here and you just twist it or you know you just screw the weight in let me try to screw one weight in it um, the only thing I did see other than the rest or not the rest but the uh, grip that it protrudes out right here so I don't know if that's gonna cause anybody any problems or not uh, me I'll probably sand it down the only thing I did see is when you add the weight, as you can see, you can add the weight here, here, or here. Um, the only problem I see is there's no way of tightening tightening it down. It's just hand tight, okay? So that's it for that part. And, of course, you have one, two, and then you have one on the top, three. So if you're going to do bare bow... Of course, you can put one here or here, but since it only already weighs four pounds and it's pretty heavy on the back or bottom end, and you have internal weights that you can put in here too, so really uh, you don't have to put one here. I don't think so, but you might want to. Um, it's up to you guys and everything. Let me get the weight out of there. So, do I think it's good for the money well I mean it is strictly a bare bow let me put the weights back in here where I won't lose them it is strictly a bare bow riser since it weighs and is weighted down here um, it's nice I like it 300 bucks I mean I don't see why not because really most of the ones on the market nowadays the cheap ones are running what 200 and some dollars for a Ford riser from SF archery or you know um, Hoyt makes it, you know, 200 some bucks too. Galaxy's got a cheaper one that you can go to too. And so, I mean, really, all the base ones is around what 200 and some bucks. So, really, 300 bucks and it's not bad. You know what I mean? So, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it together. Okay, so, um, that's gonna be it for right now. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna. Put my uh, limbs, rest, everything on this bow, or on this riser. And then we're going to take it out to the range, and we're going to shoot it, play with the weights, and see how it feels shooting it, okay? So uh, stay tuned, and we will see.